welcome to our virtual class today in our math class we are in chapter 3 that is numbers in operation and from that chapter today we are going to do the topic division in our previous class we have solved the problems uh, we have uh, solved the problems of the division that is uh, five di digit number divided by two digit number we have done so many questions there okay from uh, exercise 26 so today let us do exercise 27 here in exercise 27 there are different problems where you can where we can see that uh, four and five digit number are divided by uh, 12 digit number and also uh, six digit number divided by three digit number okay uh, today in exercise 27 we will uh, do three questions where uh, we divide four digit number by two digit number and also we divide uh, six digit number by three digit number okay now let us start to divide here in question number a 4368 divided by 28 you can understand in this way that uh, there are 4368 uh, balls okay footballs and if if the balls are distributed to 28 students equally then how how many balls will each student get okay means uh, 4368 is divided to 28 uh, students equally now let us find out how many ball will each student get we can make question in this way okay we can understand in this way that the 4368 must be divided equally to 28 numbers and how many how uh, how many uh, numbers each each students are going to get how many numbers of football are each students going to get let's understand the division problems in this way division means a repeated subtraction of same number isn't it so let us do let me write here Twenty-eight. If you round nearest ton, uh, nearest ten to twenty-eight number, okay, the twenty-eight number. Then, if you round nearest ten, then the nearest ten is thirty, isn't it? Of twenty-eight. So, how many thirty in forty-three? Of course, one. So, twenty-eight one is twenty-eight. Subtract and let us find out the remainder so the remainder is 15 okay let us bring down another number six now we have 156 so how many 30s are there in 156 uh, four 30s are 4 times of 30 is 120 and 5 times of 30 is 150 so let us multiply 28 by 5 so you are going to get 140 as a quotient isn't it so write down five here no, sorry 140 as a product so write down five as a quotient and subtract the product from number 156 let us find out the reminder now the reminder is 16 now we have we have one more number that is 8 bring down 16 is the reminder now a reminder now when we bring 8 down then 168 is the number now let us find out how many 20s are there in uh, sorry how many uh, 30s are there in number 168 six 30s uh, in 630s six threes are 18 isn't it 18 so let us find out the product by multiplying 28 by 6 okay here 
the product is 86488 yes 168 okay I write down 6 as the quotient and 168 product and subtract and here you are going to get 0 isn't it nothing number here nothing 0 uh, so 156 means each students they are going to get uh, uh, sorry they will get 156 footballs isn't it if we distribute equally to 28 students then each students will get 156 okay so let us do another question again here One lakh thirty-eight thousand nine hundred and fifty uh, is to be divided by twelve. Means, uh, let us find out. Okay, let us find out uh, the quotient here. You can understand in this way that if one lakh thirty-eight thousand nine hundred fifty is distributed equally to twelve, then how how much will each student get? okay let's see how how we divide here as we have divided so many uh, numbers by so many numbers uh, of five digit by two digit number now it's time to divide six digit number by uh, two digit number okay so let's see that first two digit here first two digit is 13 isn't it so uh if you round 12 nearest to 10 then it is 10 so how many 10 in 13 1 10 so 12 1 is 12 bring down 8 okay so 1 10 in 18 number isn't it if 210 is 20 so it is more it will be more if we multiply 12 two times of 12 is 24 so one time that is 12 now 8 minus 2 that is 6 and here 0 now we have another number here let's bring down the number that is 9 how many 10 in 69 of course uh, 6 tens but if you multiply uh, 6 uh, with 12 then you are going to get more than 69 so let us multiply 12 5 okay 60 is the product so let us write down 5 as the quotient and product 60 subtract here okay yes we have another number also here that is 5 bring down 5 95 so 12 how many 10 in 95 of course there are 9 10 in 95 but if you multiply uh, 12 and 9 then you are going to get uh, going to get more number because 12 into 9 will the product will be more than 95 so let us multiply like uh, 12 by 7 okay 7 twos are 14 84 if 8 then let's see 8 twos are 16 8 1 is 8 96 8 times of 12 is 96 so which is more than 95 isn't it that is why 7 times that is 84 5 minus 4 1 again 9 minus 8 1 now we have 0 here so bring down 0 okay 110 so 12 8 is 96 isn't it 
Now twelve nine. Twelves nines are nine twos are eighteen one nine one is nine ten one hundred ten is the product here. So let us write the nine as a quotient and the product here one hundred eight. Let us subtract and find out the remainder. Uh, here. Okay. Two is the remainder here. Quotient is quotient is equals to eleven thousand five hundred and seventy nine. And reminder is equals to 2. Okay, that means if 1,38,950 is divided equally to 12, uh, 12 uh, people, then each people will get 11,579, isn't it? Now let us go to another question. That is question number D. Here you can see six digit number is divided by three digit number. 7,20,784 divided by 600. Means if you divide 7,20,784 equally to 600 people, then how many numbers, how many numbers will each people get here? Okay. Or you can see if 7,20,784 uh, money will be distributed to 600 people equally, then how much money will each people get? Okay, let us find out. Yes, 600. Here you can see 600 is three digit number. So let us take first three digit number. That is 720, isn't it? So... 600 how many 600 in 720 okay one 600 isn't it only one because two times of 600 is 1200 so uh, one as a quotient 600 let us find out the reminder okay one hundred twenty is the reminder which is less than 600 so let us bring down the another number that is 7. Uh, 2 times of 600 is 1200, isn't it? 2 times of uh, 600 is 1200. So 600 is write 2 as a quotient and product subtract here. One hundred twenty. Okay, so we have another number here that let us bring down. Now it's seventy eight only, which is very much uh, less than six hundred. So we have another number that is four, but we could not bring two numbers at a time. What we have to do? I told you before in our previous class also, if we have to bring down. Again, one another number, then we have to put one zero here, and then only we can bring down four. Otherwise, we could not bring down four here. Okay, 784, so 601 is 600. Subtract. So we do not have more number to bring down here. So 184 is the remainder. Okay, means each people are going to get uh, 1,201 rupees and 184 will be reminder. Means the person who are going to distribute that money, means he, he will get 884 rupees with him and other 600 people will get 1,201 rupees. Okay. Uh, let us understand the division in this way. Okay. So let us write the quotient here. Quotient. A. 
and one reminder One hundred eighty-four. So, we have done three questions of exercise twenty-seven. Only this much for today. Uh, you try to do question number B, question number E and F yourself. Okay. Bye bye, all of you.